What is up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to another video with your girl, Pamela Janani. Welcome back to my channel. What is the vibe, my beautiful people? Happy, happy Sunday. So I got some messages for you guys today. Be sure to check them all out, okay? Maybe they resonate for you and maybe they don't. But if they do not, or if they do, share them with family members, share them with your friends so that we can get more and more people connected to God because we got things to do and we're gonna do it well, all right? So subscribe, give me a thumbs up and let's tap into the video. The ingredients of power. We want power. I want power. And this is not the type of power that I want to hold over someone else. This is the power that I have over myself. And this world where people are trying to strip our power on social media and our everyday life and our family. People want to take our power by trying to control us, manipulate us, and so much more. I got my power. And I'm going to tell you guys the ingredients to obtaining the mixture to having and obtaining your power. Let's have into it. The ingredients of power, number one, is God. We have to have God because without God, there is no power. God gives us a certain power that there is not anybody else that is not connected to him that will know what to do with our power. The enemies don't know what to do with our power. And some of our enemies had this power, but God strips it from them when God, when God sees them turn their back on his people, let alone, of course, him. So the number one thing that you need, the number one ingredient is God to obtain your power. Number two, you, yourselves. You need to be committed to yourselves, committed to, the, to, to growing, learning, evolving, changing your mindset, your life. And this is in the physical, I'm going to get into that, but you need you. You got to represent yourself, not just God, but yourself. Who are you? We got to find out who we are. Okay, because if we don't know who we are, we're easy to fall victim to what else, what else, what, what someone wants us to be. So you is the ingredient, number two. Number three, faith. We got to believe in our ingredients. We got to believe that what we're stirring up in the pot with God is going to make itself known. It's going to be good, one of a kind, because we are one of a kind. We'll get to that. But we got to have faith. Without faith, it's just fear. And with fear, poor choices. With fear, intimidation. With fear, being able to be controlled. We don't want that. Faith, number three. Fourth ingredient is action. We got to have action, guys. We got to stop using words. We got to stop accepting words as, and, and, as for what it is. I want action. And if I say something to God, if I say something to myself or even to my brother or sister in Christ and God, I want to back it up. I want to be that light to even my even the demons. I want to be that light. I want to inspire even my enemies. You want to inspire even your enemies. You want to inspire all. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and action means a lot to God because he wants to see us being kind. He wants to see us changing because without change, we are not going anywhere. We're stagnant. We're stuck. We are always to change every month, every year, every day because we got a lot of work to do on ourselves. So God wants to see action, okay? Number five, the fifth ingredient is discernment. And when you go down the list of all of these things, you're going to hit discernment right there where it needs to be. Because with all of these things, God, you, faith, action, then there's discernment. Then you're going to be able, with all those things above you, that is when you tap into your discernment. Because that faith, that trust, that intuition that you now listen to, because you know who you are, you know who God is, and you know what it is when you're connected, that, that, that discernment is powerful. You know who to talk to, you know who to hang around, you know who to love, you know who to pour into, and you know who's not pouring into you. And you're not going to try to force people to pour into you because you're going to take things for what it is. The lenses that God has over his people's eyes are powerful. There are no lenses like this. I can see clearly. You will be able, you can see clearly with the things above, those ingredients, okay? The sermon is number five. Number six, the last one. Of course, there's a lot more that you can do, but these are the main ingredients that you need for power. Number six is your, your temple, your body. We are to respect our body, guys. Men, women, respect our body. We are to make sure that our bodies are sacred to us so that people can know that you it's sacred. You are not going to just have intercourse with me. You're not going to touch me. You're not going to do anything to me. Do you know what I'm saying? You're not my husband. You're not my wife. What are your hands doing on me? How are you talking to me? What are you pouring into my cup? What are you feeding my mind? And everything that we want 
somebody to do, we should be doing that to someone else. Treating their body as, as being sacred, making sure that we're eating properly, making sure that we're taking care of ourselves. Because if we're not taking care of ourselves, then what are we doing? We're stagnant. Our body needs to be fed the, the food of God. And that is spiritually, that is physically, and so much more, okay? Now, th those are the six ingredients that I wrote with God that, that, that takes you to the power that you need in order to operate in this world that is, that is a little bit crazy, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, these are the ingredients, but each recipe is different. We are all different. There's only one of Pamela Janani. There's only one of you, okay? So the same ingredients, there are no duplicates. The same ingredients, but a different flavor. You know what I'm saying? Different flavor. So start mixing. God is ready to start cooking up some fish with you guys. He's ready. God is re he's ready whenever you are. He's waiting. Tick tock. He's waiting. Start mixing up these ingredients and see what happens because it's amazing, right? Um, we mix one ingredient wrong. We're going to have to start over. But listen to this. There's nothing wrong with starting over. I've started over before. You're going to start over sometimes, okay? But the main thing to do is to get back on track and focus on what, which one of those ingredients you messed up on. Because if we mess up on one ingredient, we're going to start over. So if you find yourself, um, you know, you, 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 you had a couple of drinks and you were out there and you, you know, you had some reckless nights. You got to work on that. Work on that. Work on um, taking care of that temple of yours. Do you know what I'm saying? Work on it, right? Um, let's keep going here. Almost done, guys. All right. Um, focus on each of these, though. You know, focus on them. Start with God. Start with number two if you want to pick and choose, but start. Okay. God says you got this. You got this. Okay. You have the ingredients, all you need to obtain the power that God gives us. Okay. Love and light, my beautiful people. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give your little thumbs up. Share my content. Okay. Get the word of God out there. My voice needs to be heard. And God loves you. And I love you too. Okay. Bye.